Okay, so why don't we... We have to do this all over again. Yeah, happens. Okay, where's the... Here. Shooby, 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 shooby. Shooby, shooby, it's fine. Definitely don't have the two artilleries. We need creatures that are swift and can intervene as swiftly as possible because... Somewhat. You don't want him getting too close or else he's going to be in that blast too. He has to be with one tile of it. Yeah, I just needed to bring flyers. My artillery. I mean, the main issue is just that the, all of the enemies went invisible, which is just frustrating. Can you blast the barrel? barrel? Uh, it's not productive for me to do so, though. Why? Aren't they in range? Nope. One tile, Shell. One tile? Yeah, I keep saying this. Okay, but I thought I had a larger radius nope, for that it's one. one tile. So now that he's standing there, then it's... Now Maybe it's good viable. for him, but... Wait, hold up. Can I do this? Oh, non-leader enemy. Yeah. Oh. Only I had to one do time. a whole lot of damage to him, though. No, I didn't do much damage at all. It's okay. Wow. I. I mean, he was weak to it, so... Kiko Salamander is cute. They are cute. They're not the best, but I like them. I noticed that Guild Wars 2 is starting to get more experimental with their mount skins. Where, you know that rabbit thing that you can use to jump around? Yeah. They made a version of it that looks like a gecko. Hmm. So, it's not just going to be recolors and reskins of the same base creature, they might actually change up their look a little so they look like a different type of creature. That's kind of nice. Which I find fascinating. I'd like to play that again, except at high levels, it actually gets difficult. Yeah. Without being in a group. Then again, I was playing with my Elementalist more, most recently, and that was where I was having issues. Elementalists are just... Uh, they're not very durable. I... I, I prefer to play characters that have magic at their disposal, but can also have defensive capabilities. Yeah. I just wish that game was more casual. I think it's still better than most MMOs I've played. But it definitely felt like after a while, I was just struggling in a way that wasn't particularly enjoyable. I think that maybe if I had you to play with, we could go through the story. Because they keep adding story chapters. Yeah. And I, I very much enjoy the idea of that. I think the other problem I have is just MMOs are long. Mm hmm. I mean, at this point, we're just accruing near max level boosts. So. Yeah, well, I mean. Actually, the most recent anniversary passed by. Did, so, don't we have, like, maxed out characters across the board on that game? Um, I. There are still a couple classes I don't have max level characters for. It's. I think it also just kind of boils down to. I. Ugh. I think I have other hobbies at this point. Yeah, that's true. And so I'm not necessarily For against it. For me, MMOs it. are just comfort food. They are. I just, just like, you know, I was waiting for you earlier and I was scripting out a video for, um... I was talking with friends. Yeah, I know. No shade on that. Let's see, I was just scripting out a video for, like, a Q&A thing and some other stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's, like... I have a pretty length lengthy script myself. Mm. Oh, are those supposed to be Hydrangea? I love Hydrangea. Oh, yeah. 
amusing factoid about Hydrangea. Depending on the acidity of the soil beneath them, they either turn blue or pink. And then sometimes they're purple if they're in between. But pink it's more basic and blue is more has more acidity. And it was interesting because my parents' hydrangea in their front yard, for the longest time, it was blue. And then there came a turning point where it went pink. And now I don't think it blooms at all. It maybe even died in the interim. I don't know what's happened in the years since I, I've moved out. I brought the absolute worst group for this. We might not make it this time. At all. Again. I here, I'm gonna retry this one more time. I brought wait, wait, the, wait, what just happened? I, I didn't even pay attention. What was his health like? I uh, it was getting down. The main issue is I brought wind creatures and I should have brought fire. Let's get you out of here. Phoenix. Let's see. Let's give it a this gecko. Oh, I had the other gecko. Uh, this is probably fine. Let me see. Traits, peony. There we go. Yeah, it's just so many of these guys were fire-based that it was becoming problematic. Or not fire-based, uh, nature-based that it was becoming a problem. Because mm -hmm. I, I straight up was not able to harm them. And there's only two water characters on this entire map, so... What are all the witches? Uh, water, water... Arcane. And arcane. So, fire ain't good against arcane, but they're good against everybody else. That's probably a bad idea. But yeah, now I've got Flying Phoenix... Not a big deal. Do a lot more damage. Oh, nice. Everything is good. Chico was able to do that little combo. Okay. That's better. I might have been able to win that last that that last one, but we didn't get anything cool off of it either. I'm just gonna destroy the barrel. It ain't helping me. Come for me. No, oh, it I... would have been nice if you could set up that fire barrel while they're standing there. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything strictly against MMOs, and I think I would enjoy playing them if, like, enough people I knew were all playing them, because then it would be kind we... of fun. Yeah, I suppose that that depends on people you know, because we did have a group of watchers... Yeah, and I, I've done that with, like, Destiny, with and it works quite well. Uh, Destiny and Warframe, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, this is the Phoenix. There we go. Speaking of, have you ever, have you even investigated what's happened to your guild? Uh, I haven't checked in a while. You probably should. Yeah. I mean, it's not like anybody else can do anything to it. Yeah, I don't really know about, like, what roles you gave particular people. I only I only gave roles to officers. Or, like, only officer roles to long-term committed fans. Hmm. That I generally trusted. And even then, they only had the ability to invite people. Is something interesting to look into. Yeah. Let's see. Gosh. I. Uh, not exactly in the same vein, but one of the creators that got caught for doing terrible things over the past couple of years. Yeah. Uh, I did a very, very short stint in a fan guild of his 
uh, for that guild. Albion Online game. Oh, Albion. Yeah. I remember that you'd play a little bit of that. It was fun. I get a lot of people asking me to go back to that game. Which surprises me every single time. What I remember most of Albion is that it was the se single series that you got the most spam comments in for and still gold do. sellers or like free downloads or something. Yeah. Uh, people posting their like affiliate links selling gold. Yeah. Just a bunch of hot garbage. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amusing because... And I wondered why specifically Albion. Uh, because it's an MMO with like a strong... It's like RuneScape, but it, it has a very strong financial aspect to it. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. So there would be something for them to gain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, if I were to play... RuneScape or some other ones, I'd probably get similar comments. But also, RuneScape, isn't that ugly? Just but ugly? Yes. Why would you even want to look at that? I, RuneScape was good less because of the graphics and more just because it was a really charming game with the limits of what it was, and they did a lot of, like, world building in, in a way that World of Warcraft didn't. So, huh. Uh, so, I one of the reasons why I'm always so kind of dismissive of quests in other games is actually because of RuneScape. Wait, was that the game that you had mentioned that you could have a particular lord or something lose their castle? No. And, no, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Different game. Um, so, th the thing that RuneScape did really well is there weren't multiple, there weren't tons of quests. I mean, there are now, and there were, I think, like a hundred back in the day, but the thing, that, the thing that made it so good is that every single quest was like a, a lengthy process with a story, a beginning, a middle, and an end, and then a big payout at the end. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would assume that's how most quest lines are, at least but for... Like, take World of Warcraft. Go give me some Gortesk livers. Like... Well, the thing is, when Legion came along, I remember most of the quests being several tie-ins. Yeah, but it was it was just like a long chain of just go go here, kill X. Mm -hmm. uh, RuneScape true. was complex. Like, it was complex enough that people would pay me real money to do the quest for them. How? How would you do the quest for them? Uh... Would you just give the items to them, or would you manually use their account? I would manually use their account, because you couldn't just take the items. You had to, like, go on a, a legit adventure. People would give you their login information? Yep. Man, people were way too trusting back then. I mean, Wasn't this they, when you were in element, not elementary, middle weren't school. you in middle school? Or? Yeah, bunch of middle-class white kids with more money than cents. Not that, not that outlandish. And here I wasn't even allowed to play MMOs because, oh, stranger danger. And I suppose that is right. Like I, there are definitely I, creepy people. I made MMOs. more money, I think, playing RuneScape than I spent on the membership. Mm -hmm. And also, you and your brother were taking money to run people through Guild Wars Two or Guild Wars One levels, right? Uh, not real life money. But that like was in just game money. Yeah, that was just platinum. Whew. I go figure that wrecked me earlier. How's their health doing? They're doing fine. That witch has like a really beastly crit chain move. Right, the one that does a lot of damage. I've seen it in action. But for some reason I can't hit the witch up there. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's annoying. Is that a belt? Hmm. 
Wait, is there a midnight talisman? Yep. Inside that chest? Yeah, it's for... Oh, come on. She can't reach it? Mm. Who would be able to get up there? A flyer? Or someone with high jump? Somebody with high jump or a flyer? You cannot match my strength. I will destroy you. Meteor. Well, that's a giant pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, Piachin was down. Piachin might be able to make the trip. Okay. I'm gonna go get that Midnight Talisman. Mm -hmm. Assuming I can get it. Oh, she's using that. It's okay, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Heal them up. There we go. Yep, yep, no. like That'll this. keep that cage up. And this is just supposed to be like a one off thing. Well, I'll just pull him back before he gets wrecked. Gen P and E. Thank goodness for Chico. Please. Yes. Midnight Talisman. All right. Now, no mercy. No mercy. You kidding me? Oh. She evaded. No, she uh, she counterattacked. Countered. Yep. Oh, so it was like a shield that reflected? Mm-hmm. That's okay. There we go. That gremlin witch was tough. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, hopefully the midnight talisman was worth it. Any other interesting lore tidbits in here? Uh, nope. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Humans with magical abilities are an infrequent occurrence. They are usually the result of crossbreeding between humans and fae. But other magical manifestations in humans have been documented. Okay, so it's not always yeah. mixtures, but typically is. Thank you for getting us out of a jam, stranger. You're lucky. Your wife asked me to find you. That wife is way hotter than he is. Holy crap. That is a disparity. <laughs> What were you two thinking bothering these gremlins? This is all my fault. I put too much pressure on Peter Chan to find his awakening. Wait, what's to awaken? Uh, I'm so sorry, Peter Chan. That's what he looks like? It's alright, Pop, but at this rate, I'll never find my awakening. Hmm? Awakening? You don't know what a, what awakening is for a Pio Pio. Pio Pio don't grow like most other creatures. Oh. We stay in our hatchling state for a variable amount of time. Could be a year, could be 20 years. We don't grow until we find our awakening. The awakening is our reason for living. It's something that defines us for the rest of our lives. The awakening is different for each Pio Pio. We instantly grow into our adult state after our awakening. That's kind of weird. E yeah. So, how old is this tiny child of his then? Is if he's saying if he's 70. already it's if, not actually a son. <laughs> they just adopted him. He's been this way forever. That's why he looks so world weary. So that means that technically Piachin can just find 
find their purpose in life and become some kind of... Bets on Piachin being uncomfortably attractive. <laughs> yeah, that would be weird. But also, she can only say P.O. P.O. Whereas that guy, he was talking. Wait, didn't she only hatch a couple days ago? So of course like she would know how to ago. talk. She's huh? like six to nine months old. Oh, months. Okay. Is that true? One day your little P.O. friend there will find her awakening too. Okay, so what does throwing mud at the gremlins have to do with Peter-chan's awakening? That just seems rude. Well, I told Peter-chan about how I found my awakening. When I was a hatchling, I'd stumbled across a group of gremlin witches bathing at the edge of the river. I saw them. I knew I knew that I wanted to um, start a family. Raising a family on my farm is my dream. Wait, wait, wait. He saw witches bathing, and that's what... I want that. Bam! Adulthood. Pot belly. Shit. Family man. Ah. Oh. Like, what he wanted was to awaken and become a hot P.O. P.O. And instead, he, he was a pot P.O. P.O. So, he just realized he had no game and no shot, so he left in shame. And slung mud at them to cover his shame. So they wouldn't see him. Uh. I found witches like Papa did, but they weren't taking a <laughs> bath. I threw mud at them so they'd have to take a bath. <laughs> and you know the rest after that. <laughs> what? That's why they, they thought that if they made them dirty, they'd have to be? Deeply uncomfortable. This Unclean! <laughs> Unclean. Uh, I don't understand what making the witches take a bath has to do with anything. Also, that's just creepy and voyeuristic. I didn't mean to make that them that upset. Pop, do you think Suji hates us like these gremlins hate us? No, of course not. Suji's known you since you were just an egg. He thinks of you like you're his little brother. Hmm? Who is Suji? Suji's one of the gremlins that works on our farm. I love all the gremlins on our farm. <laughs> I don't want them to hate us. Whoa. Wait! He became a man? What's what's his purpose in life then? Loving gremlins. <laughs> Just like his father. <laughs> Beat it, Sean! Beat it, Sean. You found your awakening. I did it. <laughs> he looks so dead inside. Holy shit. Like, he looks like he has been doing hard drugs since he was in an egg. <laughs> he looks like he's some and kind he's been... of old rancher. He looks rancid. <laughs> like, he looks so old he's past his, his prime. Well past his prime, and he's just started rotting. Look at the dark depths of Hayachin's eyes. She does not want She's this. She's not cool with this idea. <laughs> she does not want to be. Give it some fear, Shell. <laughs> I... I know what I must do now. There are other gremlins out there who feel like these gremlins did it, and I don't know how, but I have to help them before they hurt others or themselves. <laughs> <laughs> did you try drinking tea just as I did that? I shouldn't try. I'm crying. I'm Especially laughter. when looking at that monstrosity. Holy shit. I have never seen a least apropos portrait for anything. He looks grody. Like every aspect of him looks wrong, lumpy, also, grody. Also, just, think of how painful it must be to just. Turbo puberty. Yeah. Oh, gosh. His voice dropped like a dead weight. Oh. Helping others is a great way to live. Your mama will be so proud when she sees you. P. 
Pia, yeah, Piachin does not agree. Oh. <laughs> oh, God damn it, it happened again. Oh, where it, it bugs a little bit. I, so the problem is it's not locking my cursor to the game, so if I, like, if it's not in the game, uh, it screws up. But I don't see my cursor during cutscenes, so my cursor could be over here on the second monitor, and I'd have no way of knowing. Anyway. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll find your awakening soon enough. Besides, I like you the way you are. Aww. Pia We don't have much to thank you with, but you should have this. Thanks, but... What is it? It's a river charm that was passed down to my family. It's of a naked gremlin witch. But no one in our family has been able to channel, channel water mo mana for generations. He's become more adept with earth magic to help with farming. I figure the little one may get more use out of it than us. Huh. Yeah. You've acquired new equipment. Okay, Piachin. So, Architect of a... Okay, it's Beam Attack. And bonus range. Works for me. Dang it, did Chico level up again, you absolute monster? <laughs> now, do you think... We haven't really met any named... Um... Pio Pio females. But just as the males are all Chon, would we encounter all of the females with Chin? Maybe. At, as the last part of their name? Could be. Because they all, also, all their names start with P. Do you, you notice that? How many of them do you think have identical names? Hmm. That could be problematic. Then again, if you look at humans, there are these popular names that everyone calls their child. Yep. Hmm. All the bugs. All the bugs. All right. Well, that was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But we got a beam for Pyogen, which sounds kind of fun. Anyway, I guess that's a pretty good stopping point. I must have cut the episode in the middle of that mess somewhere. But uh -huh. uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.